What's up everybody? How is it going? I know if you probably watched my previous videos, it will not make sense. A lot has a lot of time has passed, at least two weeks. So my apologies on that. I've been working on a lot of things behind the scenes to make this channel better, to help grow it, to give back, and all that fun stuff. It is a Friday night. I gotta make some money for this weekend. I will be primarily doing Spark and DoorDash. Pretty much Grubhub has died in my area, so I have not messed with it in weeks. Um, a lot of great things have happened. I got some sponsorship opportunities that I'm gonna present to y'all with links and stuff like that. So very exciting times for this channel and very tight, exciting times for my life. I just got a new job that um, I'm, in, I'm in banking now, so maybe, hopefully, once I learn more stuff, I can be a better resource for our financial services with like credit cards and loans and all those fun things, but I'm very excited to have this job. It's a bank that's been around for a long time. I think it will be good for me to learn more the financial side of things to where I can be more financially fit and possibly help somebody else because I'll be licensed in it and I can offer that advice but anyways we're here at Walmart we're gonna get this order and start this night off right all right y'all back here at Walmart spot lucky number five um, just finished out this lat this first order I had super easy delivery $20 for 2.3 miles it was the same place it's not two stops it was just one I will love to do those all day I did get another one, $26.44 for 8.1 miles, but it was like two to three items per order, so those will be quick and easy drop off, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, Walmart also has an incentive going on right now. Um, it's if you do four orders, you get an extra $16. So the last order somehow counted, so I will take that. And then I after this one, I just need to do another two and that way it can be an easy $100 night. That's kind of what I was shooting for. The faster I can make $100, the faster I can be done and take my black butt on home. But after I complete this one, I'm gonna go get some gas, call the wife to see what she wants for dinner, and then finish up those last two orders and get it done. Hope you all all y'all are doing well. I am sorry for the long hiatus, but things are getting better and this channel is just gonna be that much more enjoyable for all of us. Hopefully this community can still grow. Also, shout out to the people who are at the GET conference. I had a blast. Please go follow Pedro DoorDash Santiago if you wanna see some of the footage. I made it on there like the 43 minute mark. I should have took his camera and just started talking to get more subscribers. But I don't know why I didn't do that. It's not my channel and I'm not trying to be like that, but I think it would have been funny. But I'm gonna get this order delivered and move on to the next one. All right, y'all, got that first one done. Here is, I guess, some advice or tips or tricks or whatever you want to call it. Um, this one had an issue. The address was rubbed off on the side. Could not see it whatsoever. It was like 16 was the last two numbers. I look across the lot, it was 17 and 19. So obviously, it's not gonna be past the 19. So I turned around and kind of looked back at the one I was in front of. I was like, okay, this one has to be it. I got closer to it. I saw remnants of a six, so I knew I was at the right place. So if you ever have an issue with an address, the GPS can only take you so far. If it follows some type of chronological pattern as you know, at 15, 17, something off on one side and then the evens on the other, follow that more times than not, you'll be able to find the destination that's needed but the big thing for me is a lot of these customers don't think about people finding where you know their stuff needs to be delivered to and they wonder why they have issues if you can't blatantly see or can't obviously see where the address is you know i'm one of those people that if it's if it's a customer of mine i'm gonna take care of them i'm gonna try to find it to the best of my ability sometimes people don't put the right stuff in and it gets very annoying that's probably one of my biggest hangups is not updating like delivery information or address information, you know, not seeing it in the app or, you know, it, 
it's just a disaster. It's always in a disaster and you can't find stuff correct and then people are like, oh, I didn't get my stuff. And you're like, well, you didn't update the address. So, ain't nothing I can do there. I can't just magically make it appear at your place. But anyways, I'm not gonna rant anymore, but that one's done, heading to this next one. And yeah, it's been a good night so far. That drop off was just really easy and I, I love that. So anyways, while doing these incentive programs, you often think about, should I take a lower paying order that's close or should I wait for a higher paying order? It's all in how you think about it and what you wanna dissect. Kind of the problem I was having was I got a whole bunch of offers. I mean, there's plenty of offers to take, but I'll have to travel to other Walmarts. I don't know how a lot of them operate. I know the one I go operates and you know, they get sometimes they're fast, sometimes they're slow. I'd have to drive 10 to 15 minutes, you know, another way to eventually get back in the area that I want to. So I'm just like, well, I saw one for Sam's Club, which is right across the street from the Walmart that I, you know, often do deliveries from. It was $13 for four miles. Now, if I'm used to taking $20 offers, you know, 15 to $20 offers for however many miles, I'm like 13, that seems low. You know, I don't think it has a tip on it, which is fine. But the, the problem is, it's not necessarily a problem, but the problem in your mind is like, well, I can get a $20 offer. Why not do that? But y'all saying I count for drive time, gas, mileage. I know that Sam's Club across the street is extremely fast. I'm gonna get there and it's probably gonna take like five minutes. So I'm like, okay, I'll take the lower paying offer. That's one less order I gotta do. I could possibly get the six done instead of the four because I know that Sam's Club is fast. I've done business with them before. They're extremely quick. So I took the 13 for four. It just made sense for this time. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna put me one less order for the incentive that I can get it done a lot faster. That's personally why I took it. Comment below if you would have taken that order and you know, what's your thought process behind doing incentives? Do you take those lower paying orders sometimes to get it done to make the extra money? Let me know, comment below. But we're heading there right now, probably about five minutes. So shout out to the Sam's Club people. They are extremely fast. I am happy I took this one uh, cause she got it in my car quickly and I was able to get it out and get it delivered. I only have about four minutes left on this trip to drop this off. It's just literally a box of like a security home security system. So shout out to those people trying to protect their home assets. I'm all about it. We have some security cameras at my house. So I'm about to drop this uh, delivery off for this one box off and then head on back to my area. Uh, this is, if you can see over here on the left of my screen, that is the Ford plant. Um, they employ a lot of people here in the Kansas City metro area. Um, it is huge. Like, it has its own zip code. Like, it, it's just a big facility. So, um, Ford is the Midwest, trucks, all that stuff. A lot of people work for Ford. And so, yeah, driving through. This is called Claycomo, Missouri. Uh, it's a little small town. Uh, Kansas City is very weird. They have many small towns within Kansas City. The problem is Kansas City is just really spread out. So, if somebody says, hey, I'm from Claycomo, We'll know, we'll know where they're from, but other people won't know. So you just say Kansas City. All right, just got that one dropped off. I got another order to Walmart, $18.38 for 2.5 miles. Cannot complain at all. This one shouldn't take too long. There's that very many people waiting in the online pickup. So I should get this one fast. Um, checked my incentive. This one's order number three. So this one's order number four and it will complete that $16 extra bonus. I don't know what you call it, I guess a bonus, whatever, incentive. Um, that will complete that. I might do two more, we'll see. I will check where the wife's at after this one. Uh, see if I need to get my butt home or see if I can stay out for another maybe hour. Cause that's probably what it will take is another hour. Um, if I can get two Sam's Club orders, I'll probably do it. So you never know, but I mean, get checked in and get ready to go. I park closest to the door so they don't have to go that far.
All right, just completed that, that last delivery. Extremely easy. I cannot complain at all. I mean, that, that was easy. Two orders to drop off. They're literally m m minutes away from each other. Um, I'm gonna end the video right here. I looked at my average view, dura view duration and it's about three to four minutes. So there's no need to make a 30 minute video if folks ain't gonna watch. I know a lot of you may watch and I appreciate all of you that do watch till the end. Shout out to you. That's kind of when I leave the good golden nuggets. Watch people's videos. They work hard creating them. Watch till the end. That's all you, That's all us creators ask for. Anyways, go to my last baseball video. I want whoever to win the Mark Goosaw autograph. Put the winning phrase in the comments. You have a really good shot of winning because not a lot of people uh, get into my giveaway. So you have a really good shot. Or else he was a Royals Hall of Famer. World Series champion, Mark Gubzaw. Very awesome guy in person. I'm so happy to meet him. I, like I said, I appreciate the autograph. Let me know if you want me to do more giveaways. I try to get multiple signatures whenever I do get stuff signed because I like to give stuff away. People can't make it out to the park as much as I can. So I like to do the things to help other folks and you know, to at least share, share the blessings that I do have. But I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good one. Hopefully you're making money or doing whatever you're passionate about, having fun and just enjoying life. Talk to y'all soon. Follow on my socials. Subscribe if you're not.